I discovered the pulsar effect in uh, around uh, 1987 and while I was doing another experiment and um, I dug a big deep hole and made my first pulsar pump and you can see it in the next video in sometime in the early 2000s. This is the water coming out of the um, pump and it's coming at about 300 to 350 litres per minute. Um, here we're coming to a picture of the dam so this is about half a metre of dam height. This is the water intake into the pump. So the pump is about um, 3 metres in in that little blue barrel top on the left. Now we're going up and we're going to show the water being pumped. So this is about I think it's about uh, three and a half or four meters high and you can see there's quite uh, the flow of water coming out. So the water gets pumped up to the animal but uh, it just goes gravity feed uh, the part that I show with the water being um, going horizontally uh, isn't correct. This part here shows uh, the slug flow process which is like waves in a pipe and uh, it probably varies quite a lot depending on the angle of the pipe. I have done it this way and it is uh, very effective. You have to use larger pipes with slug flow but you don't have to build a big high vertical structure beside your river. Uh, your pipes can be underground and you can pump much higher. A pulsar pump can be made uh, in a modular way so you can make a, a well type uh, area beside your river, uh, install the parts so that it's safe from big floods. Much of the pump could be built from local materials, uh, so uh, less material needs to be imported. I have washed clothes, I have uh, washed and separated sand from silt for building, I have um, oxygenated animal slurry and um, um, I've um, taken the waste heat from a chimney with this thing into a room so it has lots of other uses apart from pumping water. On the basis of my 20 year old prototype um, people have, ordinary people have made uh, these pumps on at least three continents and now is the time to give some better information to people so that we can we, we need to uh, make larger scale versions and test them and um, uh, so that people can know beforehand how good their pumps can work before they build them.